All right, so this is the back of my truck, and I attached Reflectix for privacy and for insulation. I um, sewed Velcro, and then I um, basically used double-sided tape, or I'm sorry, the sticky Velcro to attach them, which is a total fail because in 60 degree weather, um, basically they just melt right off. So, um, so I saw a guy that did string across it like that, but I just don't want it to be floppy. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. I have a little corner light over here. Uh, just a Costco light that dies all the time and that's Velcroed. This is Velcroed. Everything's pretty much Velcroed. I have a key holder over there that's Velcroed. Um, I saw this in a video and it's funny. I've been meaning to upgrade it, but just never got around to it. But this is for when the tailgate's down. It's basically a knee pad. It's one of those like foam things, 20 bucks, Target or Walmart or something. And I just, this is just what I happen to have the day that I put it on. I just have n not taken it off. People always are like, what's that? Um, oh, looks like it is kind of eaten into that a little bit. Anyway, there's my Yeti and my Yeti. Um, so goal zero one uh, fifty uh, Yeti, and I'm not. I have mixed feelings about that. Comment below if you're curious. And then my cooler, um, which I kind of mixed feelings about, but so far not bad. Um, this is an unfinished, um, essentially uh, storage unit and my desk. So on top of it right now. <coughs> I think I just stirred up a bunch of dust when I uh, opened the window. That's the first time I've had it open. So usually this is pushed against that, and this is totally kind of blackout sealed. So um, that's also making it look. I'll do that for you. And that's just Velcro as well. Um, you can hear the crinkling. It's Velcro, or I'm sorry, it's Reflectix inside. I just put foam or fleece, and I did a very ghetto job sewing it and I'm uh, not ashamed and um, so yeah that just kind of makes that light tight and hopefully helps with insulation and everything so then this is my basically my desk got my computer and my of course my flask usually my sleeping bag is underneath me where I'm sitting right now but it's just kind of hot where I am I'm uh, just outside Flagstaff so um, so this essentially lifts up and um, initially I had actually had this, so when I lift it up, which I'm not gonna show you, it would just Velcro against the back wall. But you know, it doesn't stay very well. It may or may not have hit me in the head once, which I didn't expect it to be a long-term plan. Um, and so I usually just lift it up and then slide it against, like slide it right there. And usually it's not as cluttered. It's usually like this will be up front, this stuff isn't on here when I drive and um, this map, I have to figure out how to mount this because I love it and yet it never just wants to stay. And I have Reflectix um, just kind of stuffed in the front window. Um, nothing fancy there um, for added privacy. And then I have my awesome 3D map, which this is the angle you can look at it. These maps just inspire me on my travels and um, I love that they're textured. Um, just really shows off, um, you know, the terrain. So, um, anyway, going back to this. So this is, I'm kind of been building as I go. And so this is literally just sitting on this. So I want to do a latch on here that will hold these two together. Cause I mean, they're pretty solid somehow. I do have Velcro, um, right here, like on the wood so that when I lay this down, it, it does stay pretty well on this, um, you know, on the, on the edge of the cap here. Uh, so it stays pretty well. I don't know. Maybe I won't change it. We'll see. I did notice the wood maybe starting to warp right here. You can't really see it, but so we'll see. And then I literally just, um, just to keep it in place, I nailed a piece of wood there that sits in the track. Um, let's see if we can show that better. Try to keep it clean in here. So it's up on another piece of wood right now. This is kind of an, a longer story. This is like a temporary fix. 
I had like one day some free Home Depot cuts and a drill to work with. So um, I still have this piece of wood down here is going to go right here and it's going to close this off. Right now I've kind of been liking just being able to reach in and out or throw some extra stuff in there. So there's a chance that I might not, but uh, we'll see right now what's in here in my clothes. So my clothes live in here. Um, at least all the clean ones do. I've got my dirty laundry in the bottom there. I've got shoes here um, and kind of miscellaneous stuff. Uh, these are some cleaning supplies. Um, I've got like my towel. I've got an extra bag um, tucked in the corner with these are like my nicer clothes that I need to, once I build this a little better and make it a little more secure, it'll fit in here. Um, but that's really it. I mean, behind me is just what I'm sitting on is just my bed. It's 24 inches wide. It is, let me sit on my cooler and give you that view. Um, so this just looks funny because again, that wood is sticking out, but, um, uh, there we go. So just on two by fours and I put some brackets to kind of, I don't know if you can see that, but stabilize it. Um, and then I have those storage bins, uh, my poop box if I ever need it, and uh, that's just my toiletries. And I just did those brackets to kind of stabilize where I would be putting most of the weight, which I knew would be sitting on this end because this end is the end that's where the topper is the highest. Um, I also have this silly thing, which is technically a, um, like, clothes hanger or something hanger. It's not a pull-up bar. Um, made by Aerie. I have mixed feelings on this topper as well. I've also had a snug top. Um, let's see what else. Oh yeah, these just slide. So normally again, this piece of wood wouldn't be here, but these just slide in and out. And um, I've actually made them... Last trip I had like it very organized under my bed and my bins all had something like had lids and actually a lot of these bins were under there. But, um, I just found that, um, I'll turn this around so you can see me. I just found that, um, it was a pain to always have to pull out a bin and, um, take a lid off. And I've actually found these kind of just, I'm making them sort of junk bins, like junk trays, like your junk drawer in your kitchen. I don't know. We always had one growing up. And um, it's been really awesome to do that. I've been appreciating just being able to pull it out, grab something. You know, I have, I have things I use a lot, like for some reason, scissors. I don't know why, but I find myself using them a lot. So instead of having them in my, um, I have these three bins right here. My top one is toiletries. Um, this is just stuff because I just unpacked. I just had stuff in a bag. So I just unpacked and these all got to go in the front. I just haven't. That's why it's, again, messier in here than normal. This is sort of my tech bin. Um, like tech, extra wires, cords, um, random other stuff like that. And then the last bin down here is my kind of supplies bin. So there's things like duct tape, Velcro, um, uh, zip ties, plastic bags, you know, those kind of miscellaneous things that you find kind of helpful when you're on the road. And I do have one more bin kind of tucked in the back corner there, same, same one of those. And that's sort of my storage bin for everything like, um, that I really never pull out, but, um, you know, <coughs> any, any paperwork or I have some extra, um, of my journals here. I have a couple journals, um, some paperwork. Um, let's see, like my passport was in there. Um, some other important docs that I might need on the road or in there. So that's my whole setup. It's nothing fancy. Um, I put that shelf together in like 10 minutes, uh, really easy. And, um, I, it's a, a four inch foam from Joanne Fabrics. Um, if you ever buy anything from there, if you're going to buy something expensive, sign up for their text, uh, their text like de deals and you'll get a deal, uh, right away for like 25% off or something. And that's, so that took like 30 bucks off this cause it was like 130 or something. And then I, I actually, since I had a sewing machine, 
I sewed my own little flat sh or my own little fitted sheet. Pretty easy to do. It's not beautiful, but it works. Um, and then I just have actually a queen size. Um, oh, and actually on top of that foam, I forgot until I'm touching it right now. I do have like this really thin um, down twin sized blanket. And that's kind of almost like adds like a, a pillow top ish type of this bed is so comfortable. My friends are always like, why are you crashing in my spare bedroom? I'm like, cause my bed is comfortable. Um, and then I just have a queen, a queen size sheet, double sided. So like I said, normally I have my sleeping bag on there. It's just really warm in here. And look at all that dust that I just kicked up. Apparently my bed needs to be shaken out. So I have been in here for about, um, um, let's see. When did I leave Montana? I left Montana in, I already forget when I left. I don't even know what day it is. It's May 15th. Um, I'm currently in Arizona. I just spent a couple weeks in California. So yeah, I left about mid April. So I left about a month ago. Um, I used to live in California. So I spent some time out there visiting friends and going to a music festival, got to sleep on my friend's boat for a while, which was super fun. I'll probably post other videos about that. And, uh, yeah, that was awesome. It was nice to kind of get off of, out of the truck and onto something, into something slightly bigger. Um, and I felt very safe too, just cause you know, locked dock and everything. So, um, oh yeah. And I guess how I lock it. So my, um, truck topper place that I bought this topper from, which I kind of have mixed feelings about as well. You can comment if you have questions or ping me. So they drilled a hole in, um, in this guy. And then they also drilled a hole in this, which you can probably barely see, but you get the idea. You put that down and then they even actually made little holes in here, which um, I can't see because I'm blinded by the light right now to just store these little rivets and then literally just slide it in. So it's nothing fancy. Um, it kind of gets the job done. So I've had some issues um, with like the, they only just started fitting again. They did not fit all winter. Um, but as you can see, this topper is terribly made like really really bet poorly made airy and I have no bones about saying that um I can't even show you the angle but these are all like this is like buckling and this is a brand new topper and angled and so are these um there's just like some really poor craftsmanship in this topper um there was like a hole over here just like it was used or something and I bought it supposedly brand new um, ARE still do this, which I hate, or snug tops, um, actually drill right in and there's a hole in already built into your top, your truck that the, the topper can be secured by. So I still recommend snug tops. This has also has huge gaps right here that go outside. So you can actually reach in from the outside and push this. Although obviously if it's locked with a key from the outside, it doesn't matter. And you can clearly see how much this topper has like with the poor quality has and weather has just shifted and changed because that hole does not line up with this. So this is on the lever. That hole over there is supposed to be lined up behind this. So that's kind of how poorly everything is shifted. This is, this is like buckled out right here. Um, yeah, this is like pulling out. I mean, it's just, yeah, the quality is just, yeah, I'm not going to go into it anymore because this is just supposed to be a uh, welcome to my home video. Nickel tour. I think it went a little overboard. I think it was like 12 cents, but comment below. I'm always open to new ideas, constantly upgrading it and fixing it and making it better. Um, yeah. And taking advice from people that I meet along the way. So thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye.